We're expecting a high scoring affair. And this could very What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. My name is Cody and today we're taking a look at some mutt gameplay guys. Breaking down the little game we got for you. Uh, live commentary here. We're just running our Arizona offense and our New England defense. I uh, just wanted to break down some of the stuff I've been doing lately. I uh, really enjoy the Arizona book. Um, a lot more than I thought I would. I just think it's really effective. Um, and what I mean by that is a lot more than I thought I would. Obviously I enjoyed it because, I mean, it's the book I've been... I mean, it's the book I did my guide on, but, um, you know, it's it's even better than I thought it was. Um, and I and I and I say that with you know obviously a grain of salt, but uh, what I mean is that it's just really solid. There you see us go up top, Kelvin Benjamin. I mean, get a Kelvin Benjamin. I mean, this, that dude may be the most underrated player in Madden. Uh, and I'm not joking. I mean, he is really solid. Arizona with the split close as well. Uh, shotgun split close, in my opinion. If you don't have a split close, I mean, split close is just good. I mean, it's just money uh, this year. As you see, we're able to get Tavon Austin in the backfield lately. Been liking that, um, putting him in the game. Uh, but anyway, what we like to run most is the shotgun Snuggies. And I really like this. This is probably my bread and butter. But... Um, we like to do is put Kaufman here. Uh, we like to have Keenan Allen here, and then Julian Edelman there. Um, not gonna have enough time to run the play, but this is something I'm really liking, and I, I've been thinking of even switching over to New Orleans uh, a little bit. But I just really like this play because it's dr the out route is just is really good. Um, it's a really good out route. Something I really like doing as well is a nice flood. Um, and so bringing Kaufman over here like this, and what you'll see is we'll take Allen and drag him, and then we'll take Archer, put him on a streak as a pressure release, and then our just easy reads. Oh, we got some nice pressure. I don't know what happened there. I've been getting really hit hard with this block shed crap. I mean, it's like I can't step up in the pocket anymore uh, and mutt, but uh, I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's see here. We need to get... Our boy, our bunch ace. We need to get Heartstock in, and we got Keenan Allen in. We got Kaufman. So we, and uh, but the bunch ace is still there. Uh, love the bunch ace. I've loved it for years, uh, but I really like it this year. I love the quick pitch uh, run. Uh, here we should be able to pick this up. Dre Archer is a is is a monster. I mean. For my money, he may be the second best back in Mutt next to Chris Johnson. I mean, we talk about scheme fitting. I mean, he fits the Arizona scheme to a T. I mean, he has just money for it. Now, the cool part, what I love about this bunch is that we can flip this run, run it to the left, and then all of a sudden they're just they're just shamed. I mean, and what a play. I don't know if he's got Ray Lewis on his team or what. That was a nice tackle. Uh, it's Khalil Mack. But, um... Anyway, uh, just, just hopping in, just loving this, loving this book. I've kind of researched this book out, um, done a lot of things to it, a lot of things I want to continue to do to it, uh, and and, prog and progressing it. But I uh, really like this book this year um, for a lot of reasons. Uh, but the biggest one is that you can really beat man coverage good with this one, uh, with this book. Uh, but we also have some nice zone reads. Uh, what I find best against uh, the zone is to get the ball out of your hands. Um, I think pressure is a real thing in this year's game. And what I mean by pressure is a real thing. I mean pressure from a base rush. Um, just basic pressure um, is actually pretty effective in this year's game. So I definitely need to note that. There he tried to user me. Fit it in. So good play by him though. So we need to watch his user because we know that he's actually going in the right direction at least. Uh, here. First down and ten. And this is the route I really like. This route to the running back is, I just never realized how good it was. Um, until I used, started messing around with split close, I never really realized how good of a route that was. But it is, it's pretty freaking good. Um, you can really force feed that route if you want to. And so, I like having that, and then the rest of the offense just flows really nicely. Um, I love the quick pitch. I love flipping the quick pitch, playing some mind games with it. But uh, you just can't you can't you can't user everything. 
Um, and so that really helps me out. So nice run there by Archer getting us into the end zone. I like to go for two. Um, what I've been doing, too, is putting Floyd in the game, too, uh, for user catching. And so always coming out and just seeing if it's a possibility. And here we'll just pound it up and see he's so used to... Uh, that was a stupid spin move. Sometimes I spin too much, but... Anyway. Man, it's 6.30 already, man. Where does the day go? Um, but anyway, hop into this. Oh, what a return. See, sometimes I just make bad tackles. I'm a terrible tackler. I'm like the world's worst tackler in the open field. Anyway, but I really like the defense, too, that I've got put together here. Um, I think it's pretty solid uh, what, we, what, what we've got here defensively. And I really mean that. Um, I think our defense is pretty solid. Whoopsie. Going up top. First play. What I find effective is to run them and get them a little bit more down the field and then cut off of them. That's what I find to be most effective. And also, uh, what you really want to look for in your corners, um, from what, for my money, is, um, is zone coverage. There, oh, he was going to throw that slant. Oh, he was going to throw the slant, but there you see the pressure. And there's the pressure again. Got some nice heat. Really like the I really like this three through five odd. Um, even when the pressure doesn't come in, you get good block shed pressure in my opinion. And it just it makes the game hard to really to really play against. Here long yardage down. We're looking at the slots, really. And there's a bat down, and there's another stop for the defense. There you see the pressure come in. Pretty solid defensive performance already going. Uh, I like the split close. I like to give this fullback inside a run every now and then. Tavon Austin, really liking it with him. I just think this is just a really good running play. Um, the fullback inside, the way that it works is just very simple but I think it's very effective. Um, it's really easy reads. If they don't give you that, then what I like to do is take this uh, HB wheel, and all I do is take Archer, motion him out to the left side of the screen, and then the first read is always Tavon Austin, and uh, normally you're going to be able to fit that in. cool part is Tavon Austin has really, really good running ability, um, and so that's why we put him there. Him in combination with Archer make two really good quick pass threats out of the backfield easily. And then if they're leaving that right side open, which you can see here, is you can always give it to Archer. No reason not to. I mean, the dude's got 95 speed. He's a, one of the fastest players in the game. Uh, so a lot of things we can do here from this. Uh, the next thing I like to do is a little screen pass, put Archer here, and then I'll bring Allen across as if I'm going to block with Allen. What you're going to see is he's going to stay on a flat pattern to the outside, and then he's just a nice extra blocker. Here we're going to check down to Archer. Uh, but this split close is something that's unique. I think it's really good. I was working with it from Indianapolis, and then I switched over to uh, to Arizona just because I can run the Snuggies um, there. And that's the only downside. You see Taven Austin doesn't always block as well. But um, anywho, uh, we got some quick reads here. The We're going to look quick to the left and then back to Austin. Look quick left, nothing. And then we see we have Keenan Allen sitting in the zone, a nice cover two call by our opponent. And this offense is split close. It just really works quick. It's quick runs, quick hits. Uh, really liking it a lot. But here, we're trying to fit this fullback inside in. Cut it back right down the middle. He's uh, trying to overplay that outside run. And uh, easy yardage for us, four yards and a cloud of dust. And we'll go back to the line of scrimmage and do it again. Um, as you see, we're trying to get a nice quick no-huddle system going. There's a nice spin move, a big key block from Dre Archer. 
Uh, and here we're going to check down single back doubles, half back slam, see what we can do. And he's off sides. Sometimes we try to like quick snap, but you see we, we got into a pretty quick pace. Um, and uh, it actually enabled us for some really good opportunities here. Um, we go to the tight pair. We want to use as the package. We want to use the package jumbo backfield, and it's going to put Kaufman at um, full at halfback. Uh, what this is going to allow us to do is some passing options in case the defense um, decides that they want to run commit to stop the fullback dive. We always like to open with running the fullback dive, but later on in the game we're going to go with some play action passes and things like that uh, to really do this. What we like to do is motion Kaufman to the outside. Um, so we're just going to see quick motion here to the outside and then snap go. He's going to sell out against the run. Most of the time they're not going to be able to stop it. Um, sometimes guys will have run defense set up, but that's really what we like to do. And then obviously we have the bunch ace is our main goal line offense. Um, and this is the one we like to normally go to in most cases um, is we'll go to this bunch ace. And what we want to do is we want to call the play spacing. We take uh, our guy Kaufman or um, Hartstock, put him on a fade, and then see what the look looks like. Here we're going to check down to our inside zone, motion Hartstock to the inside a couple steps, bring him in, and then there McKinnon. And, of course, we got a block shed, unfortunately. The offense is just looking really solid. So I'm thinking about updating the ebook with some of the extra things I've put in here. Um, because, or maybe just putting out a new guide, because um, I think that you know, I mean, that for ten dollars, I think you definitely got your money's worth with the first guy. But I think maybe an upgrade or something of five dollars, and you can get the second guy. But it's just really effective. Anyway, hopping into the defensive side of things, and uh, we'll show you what we've got. Just really like this defense. Um, it's simple. Here he's going to run, basic run. I, and I, I don't really worry about the run as much this year. I know that some guys are having trouble with it. The reason I don't worry about it as much is because of this right here, the situations. Um, this game, see there, he's got a good run. But this game, the way that it works is, especially in my, like you only have so much time to score. And, um, and uh, oh, another thing that's been really good for me is this cover three buzz. And what I like to do is just make a nice cover three double buzz kind of thing and I'm lurking the middle and it just makes this a really t really hard play to stop and as I say I, and as I get bombed over top I hate freaking long streakers like this this is just so stupid it's just the dumbest way to play I've ever freaking seen but works for some people I guess anyway So we'll try to go down and score again. Um, that streak was kind of frustrating because he just, I mean, that was his only read, but what are you going to do? Um, bring Edwin across. There's a lot of ways to run the zone of post. There's McKinnon, and see, he was in a cover three with the flat zone. That's the cool part about this, is that he was in a cover three with the flat zone, and we still are able to complete that route. There, heavy pressure. Edelman, quick pressure release. We're going to have to go no huddle here. There, cover to sink. I think this play does a really good job at beating the cover to sink. I was having trouble with one guy. I was running uh, perennial cover to sink on me. Had to find a way to beat the cover two and ended up working on it some more and found a pretty solid, pretty solid little way to beat it. Um, but this out route just is, it's just it's just frustrating. Um, But um, it's just a really frustrating route. 
Uh, what we like to do is also use this zone of seams. What the zone of seams is going to allow us to do um, is really work the seams. Um, this streaked Edelman is really, really effective. Um, as you can see it hitting there. Uh, zone of post, though, is the bread and butter. It's where everything starts. Um, yeah, Keenan Allen, easy check down. Uh, from this spot, we probably run split close. I just really like split close and snugs. Like, they're just really effective formations. Um, in this situation, we're going to try to hit Archer across. Try and get him sleeping on the run. Wasn't able to do it. We're going to get caught here. We're going to have to take a T.O. Uh, we just, what we're really trying to do here, it really, I, a field goal really is kind of a downer because we're not going to be able to go up two possessions with a field goal. So, whoop, we have Tavon Austin going on the wrong, wrong motion, so we're going to bring him back. Bring Archer across. Here, Archer's going to go on a hitch. Hit Archer. Timeout. Timeout. And we kind of have to go back to the snugs. Uh, this is three passes to the end zone here. This is, uh, we really, it's going to be a situation where we're really going to be trying to hit the end zone. Uh, really nothing else is acceptable at this point. Look at our zone of post here. He's probably going to be covered too. Inside flats to Kaufman. You know, nice touchdown catch by him. And a big time touchdown drive for us. Going to, going to half time up two scores. Uh, really a big, a big drive for us. Oh, let's see, we're going to try and hit this inside zone again. We've been hitting it. We've just been barely missing it. And there we finally get in for two. The offense starting to really click on all cylinders. And you see a nice two-minute drill um, executed to perfection. Really solid execution offensively so far. Um, low turnover. I think we've only had one incomplete pass. And there's my classic kickoff coverage. What a freaking play. Is that Tyler Lockett, man? And a big return, but... Luckily for us, we didn't have enough time on the clock, and he's going to run the clock out. Um, so to prevent this, I'm just going to go with the basic kick uh, to the left side, high kick, and uh, just, just kind of keep everything in front of me. Force him to really, really just force him to take the ball and drive it upfield. Uh, as we've seen, the defense is only giving up one big play, and really at that, I mean, Probably shouldn't have given that up, but that's just me. Here we've got strong close. Quick toss. Classic. There you see the defense staying strong against it. Let's see. It goes right into the bunch ace. We get a false start. I don't think that. And I think we got into the wrong play call, unfortunately, so we're going to have to audible out of that. So there's verticals. Xavier Rhodes got lit up on that one. Dang. Austin Safarius Jenkins, man. Good catch, man. All we can all we can do is put people in position and make plays. So Verticals and what we can I mean, an easy adjustment to stop that is we just hot rot that linebacker to a deep blue and we'll be fine. So I'm not too worried about the verticals. There, Dre Archer gives us a nice kick return again. Classic Dre. Um, offensively, back into the Snuggies. Um, really feel at home with the Snuggies. The bunch half that strong is good, too. So just a lot of really good plays 
uh, that we can utilize. And we're going to have to reset the play. Bring Kaufman across. Nice zone stretch here. There's Benjamin cutting off that nice user catch. Ryan's gotten a pretty good game going. I don't understand the base of line, though. You know, I would probably do it, too, but... There's Calvin Benjamin to the outside. Easy read. So pretty solid offensive game. Defense is giving up two big plays. There's Kelvin Benjamin making a big time catch right there. We probably hit the wrong receiver and Kelvin Benjamin just shamed, shamed flat out shamed. Kelvin Benjamin's had a good game. I mean, he's made a bunch of big catches for us. Edelman on this little out pattern. Uh, we'll go up top. Keenan Allen. Nice catch. Go flip trip slot trail. Probably my favorite play. In this situation. A half back mid draw. McKinnon gets in for six. A good drive by the offense. Um, the offense has played really, really lights out today. Single back bunch eighth inside zone. Nice tackle in the backfield, so he's really shut down the inside zone. Um, we probably should get back into the twins, but and there we forgot those kick return skills, I think, so it may pay, make us pay for that. We're going to get outside wide, knowing he's going to cut out there. We get out there, and now we got a tackle. And a nice tackle there. We haven't been able to tackle too well today. So nickel 3-5 odd. So far, this guy's not really anything to worry about. We got basic runs. There's quick toss, nothing, and there's the pressure. There is the pressure. There's Xavier Rose, Eric Reed. There you see the defense starting to come through. And let's see what we can do here on third down. Wow. Who is that? that? Tyler Lockett or who? Dag gone it. That's my own play, FL Drive. <laughs> my play, I run that all day. Man, just got me. Just flat out beat me. Beat me deep. So, seeing kind of a weakness, we got the lob ball, and there's obviously a way to stop that. I just haven't. I haven't stopped it yet. <laughs> um, I haven't gotten around to stopping it, but we'll see what we can do against it later on. Um, it's a good return by Tavon. So the offense has got to go down and score. Defense is showing some vulnerabilities, giving up three massive plays. Normally the defense is what saves us. Look 
There's Keenan Allen. That's another hidden gem, that little hitch pattern. I mean, that's money as well. Ryan's got himself a beautiful game right now going. 21 of 22 for 260. What a game. He's got so much to use on that other side. And then that, that drag. I mean, it just really it is a difficult play. And we can run it in about 14 different ways. It's a tough play to stop. There's Edelman on another drag. I love the drags. I just think they're they're safe, they're secure. We'll do a little draw action here. To McKinnon. He hasn't seen that, and there see, I mean it's good for good for a first down, all we need. And I'm telling you guys, I mean, if the offense comes through for us here on this drive, we win the game. If the offense does not come through for us on this drive, we could lose. Offense has got to step up here. No questions about it. There's the out route, door set. Big catch, big run after the catch. Ryan's 24-25 at this point in the game. Really solid passing performance. And guys, this Matt Ryan card is freaking amazing. I love this Matt Ryan card. I think it's really good. <sighs> Step up in the pocket. Oh, and we throw a pick. Oh, I think we just waited just a little. We just were a little hesitant. Strong corner fire roll. Got the pick. A big time turn. Big time turnover. Really solid, solid performance up to that point. Ticky tacky pick, and now the defense has got to make its money. Probably gonna see bunch of ace. Probably gonna see this the seams. There's Bucks slash. Pretty solid run play there. And I'm having a lot of issues with the hot routes. Uh, I'm locked. I'm on player lock now. Dang on it. I can't do any adjustments. We got a big time sack right there from Tank. And Anthony Barr. And we get roasted again. He just lobs streaks, man. Dang it, we got cover four. Cover four, and he's able to complete that. What a game. What a game. We know he's going for two here. Run. We got him stuffed. So now the offense can go win the football game for us. Offense almost lost the game for us. Let's see if they can win the game for us. Defense has not played up to par. Probably for the first time in a long time. Um, and I think it's just a fact that we've just stayed in our pressures. We've gotten him a couple sacks, but we, we've kind of stuck with our pressure and haven't gone away from it. And really, the offense, I mean, the read was wide open. I mean, it really was. It was open touchdown. We just threw it a little too early, and uh, it, it caused us a little discrepancy. But he has had some difficulties stopping the offense. So we are really confident at this point. Let's see if the offense can go win the game for us. No better place to be in right here than down one point. Field goal wins the game. Touchdown wins the game. Turnover loses the game. So here, running that strong corner through, strong corner roll a lot. Um, it's 25 of 27 at this point. Two incompletions, one interception. Running the same play. I mean, he's running the strong roll, so we should be able to hit Kaufman here deep. Under pressure. See how he's sitting in that heavy heat off that right edge. Uh, so we know it's coming. So in this situation, we're gonna go, we're gonna go um, with that flood to the left side because the roll coverage uh, is gonna really pull the coverage away from us. So we should be able to hit this. 
Um, but let's see what we can get here. See, he's doing his standard shift. There's Benjamin, another big catch, catching traffic for days. We're going to try to go zone the seams on him. Changing his plays. There it is, Kaufman. Where we threw the interception last play. Kaufman makes a big time catch in a big time situation. And Matt Ryan delivers where he last left off. So in this situation here, we just have to note that he's going to try and send the dogs at us again. There he gives us the check down. He's trying to play that streak. Gives us the check down and we're able to hit it. Nice passing. These safety blitzes are intriguing coverages, something I'm not used to facing. And, um, and you see us able to really hone in late and get a big-time conversion. Uh, big time conversion for the offense on this drive. So we got two minutes left in the game here. And there McKinnon, we hit him a little late. Um, he's he's taking the deep blue all. The, I mean he's he is really overloading his coverage to the left side of the screen um, and blitzing off the edge because he knows that's where we're going. So interesting strategies so far. And there we make him pay. There's McKinnon out of the backfield. We're in the same play. McKinnon's able to hit it. Zona seems. There's McKinnon out of the backfield. And see, McKinnon really, really has really changed the game on this drive with a big time. Big time performance, and now we can get back into that I form twins. Second and inches. This is where we can mix in some stuff. This is where we can pass the football. And this is where we can really make our money with this fullback dive because they're not expecting this pass. Quick hitch pattern. There's Kaufman. And in this situation, we're going to chew clock, and we're going to get out of here with a W, fellas. Take his timeouts away from him. You can't take those, and we'll wind the clock. Really, really good game. I think this is a, a really a, a, you know, a good first game out. And first game of the day, but played really well for the most part. Defense had some struggles. They got uh, two or three stops, I think, early on. Um, and then from that point on, they they struggled to stop this guy. They struggled to stop the deep ball. The offense played flawless all the way up until the second to last drive and a big turnover. And in one moment, we thought we were done. He had a deep bomb on us again and took the lead. And, and here we sit, though, 26-27, 51 seconds left. Let's see if we can get a W. We'll wind this all the way. We'll go ahead and take the delay of game. So we'll wind this clock all the way down and take our delay of game, leave him with 19 seconds. I think they give us a little bit less clock, so it's unfortunate. But, anywho, uh, Defensively, this is all prevent. I mean, we'll play all prevent. Um, the core essential responsibility defensively, as far as not giving up any big plays, but even more so than that, not giving up plays that are going to go like deep out plays, deep out deep corners, that stuff, we have to take that away. So we're going to shade everything to the outside as well. But a nice kick for McManus. Now when we kick, we're going to kick it low. And straight, we want him to run this back because it's going to take time off the clock. But we don't want him to run it back so much, so easily that he's going to be able to return it. So we got to get wide, and we got to make tackles. We got to tackle. There's DRC. In 12 seconds, in this situation, we go quarter three deep. Now, what we want to call is the man up three deep play. Now, what we want to do is we want to 
individually shade all these guys to the outside. And here, deep blue. Here, Arakpo. And we just let the computer play, and Nate Allen finishes the game off with an interception. And Matt Ryan is saved by his defense once again. Late in the game, the defense makes the, always makes that play that comes through for us. And a huge time, huge time W for us here. A really a, a great game to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to pick up the offense or the defense you saw ran in today's game, check out our defensive ebook and our offensive ebook down below. Um, as you see, uh, just a really solid performance for us. Uh, shut down the run completely. Uh, only 27 yards rushing. So got turnovers when we needed to. A really solid game, so I hope you enjoy this one. Let's just check out real quick Matt Ryan, 88% completion percentage with 108 quarterback rating, 31 of 35. Really, really solid. Only